up, guys? Hurt here from the Hoonigans. We are here at SEMA 2019, shredding our little burn yard, but we're also shredding our Thrustmaster simulators. So here at SEMA, we have been blessed, and by we I mean the Hoonigans, have been blessed with a nice space to shred tires and beat the crap out of our cars. So two shows a day, about six or seven cars a show, and I'm pretty sure just about everyone leaves with either fully popped tires or no tread whatsoever on the tires. So I'm currently driving my Mazda RX-7. It's a second generation, also known as an FC3S RX-7. It's uh, rotary powered, it makes us somewhere around 500 horsepower, and you can also find it in Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Motorsport 7, which I think we're gonna play right now. Let's hit it. We listened to the community. We took all the comments the community gave us for years and all those improvements, we will find them in our new wheels. With G29, we are bringing our heritage of great force feedback racing wheels to the PlayStation 4. So we've kept the dual motor force feedback transmission from the G27. It's still got the anti-backlash gearing. It's still got the helical cut gears so that you have a very quiet experience. You can get incredibly high fidelity force feedback so you can feel things like your tires slipping or road conditions or uh, if you're pushing too hard into a corner. So you get great understanding of what the car is doing while you're driving so you can make sure that you don't push it too hard and go out of control. Logitech make wheels since years now. We learned a lot in terms of how the wheel has to be made in, in terms of ergonomic. And bringing this on top of the electronic capability we have at, at Logitech, at the end you have an interface that is really optimized for what it has to do. The force feedback transmission has steel ball bearings so that it's more smooth and tight as you're steering. It has a hand-stitched leather rim so it's really comfortable to use for long periods of time. And it's got anodized aluminum spokes so that it's very durable. It's got real solid materials all throughout to make it just a very sturdy and durable racing experience. When you are in a racing game, you're going to use a lot of force, a lot of strength. So we want to make the wheels as solid as possible. So we design very specific test equipment that really allow us to stress the wheel to the maximum. The Logitech G920 driving force is our first racing wheel for Xbox One. We've been asked for a long time to deliver a wheel that is compatible with both PC and Xbox, and we're really excited to be able to give you a force feedback wheel that does that. This wheel has, of course, a lot of new control. They are all easily accessible, but on top of that, we did a lot of improvement in the electronics, in the processing. You will see now that the encoders we use, for example, for the position of the wheel are completely new, a lot more accurate. The important thing about the force feedback is not that you're going to feel, oh, somebody hit me from the left, but you're learning more about, oh, I'm, I'm hitting this corner really hard, but I've still got some grip in my tires. I can hear it. I can feel it in the wheel. I know that I can, next time I go around this lap, I can hit it harder and get a better time. The driving force shifter, which is available as an optional add-on, can be used with either the G29 or G920 driving force racing wheel. It allows you to integrate a six-speed manual shifter with push-down reverse into your racing setup for more realism. If you're looking for more information about either the G29 driving force or the G920 driving force, go to gaming.logitech.com.
If you like the video, please click on the like button, write a comment, and subscribe to my channel.